So I had this dream, uh, I think it was around January, if I can remember very well, but it was early first quarter this year. Now, I just kind of like shrugged it to the side. We kept it moving. We talked about other things. Uh, but uh, last week, I saw a story that reminded me of this dream. And I wanted to talk to you guys about it. Yeah, I'll tell me what you think about it. It was a dream in which this was very recently, OK? Uh, way after he had passed. I think it's about two years now. Now, first, there is about three parts of the dream. There's about three parts of these three sections of this dream. The first, the third section is sad and scary. Uh, the middle section is more interpretive. You, you could get like into all kinds of interpretive stuff. Uh, but the first section, that's where a lot of the story of this dream is. So in this dream, I mean, this place, it's like, um, Kasi of a sort of a sort. It's not a it's not a, a suburb or anything. It's kind of like Ikasi. Ikasi is like kind of like your hood, you know, in the hood. Uh, the houses are a bit distance from each other, but in this particular location, and um, I can see all the fences of these other houses clear, but there is this house that's without a proper fence. They did have a fence, but it wasn't proper. The fencing wasn't proper. And um, we walked right in. Um, it felt like I was walking with someone, but uh, when I looked, I was, or when you think of it, or when I think of it, I was by myself. And so walked into the, to the, to the house. But uh, the detail of the house sticks out because there wasn't a point in the dream where I remember me walking into the house. Uh, it was only when we got into the house that I could sense that movement aspect of the dream. Eh? So it wasn't like we walked, like, you know, when you're taking step to step and you uh, think. But I could see the fencing and stuff, and then there's this moment where we are just into the, into the house. And um, the other rooms, it's, it's, it's not that, it was not that big of a house. Um, very average looking. It looked like an RDP kind of a house, actually. You could kind of put it in that range. Uh, it is the main bedroom all the way to the, to the, to the back. I uh, didn't see the other rooms. It was just all dark. There was only one room that had light. That was the room that we uh, went right straight into. And I'll keep saying we because uh, there was that aspect of me being there with someone. You know, because only at the end of the dream, it becomes clearer that I was with someone. So you will hear me saying we here and there. And so uh, walked into this uh, into this room and right in the in the side, I'm like, right. W when we get in, the room has only one form of furniture and it's a bed right at the wall near near a corner. The, the room wasn't properly shaped. Now, this is another thing again. So the structure of the room is not like a normal, you know, four corner room, you know. Yes, I know that some rooms can, you know, can, can turn, but this room wasn't properly structured. It was structured like a triangle, and I'm not trying to be funny with that. It's like, it was, it was structured like, this is where the entrance is, and then here, so this part is just flat. So the entrance coming into the house is like this. Then there is a small little move uh, towards this thing, and then, the bed is right on the side, but the way this room is structured, it's not properly structured. Like, it felt like it was a rendezvous. You get me? You, it, cause here it was a, it, it, it came in, but there was no corner on the side. Okay? So it was a very weird room. So it felt like it was, like, you know, a, that shape, you know, like one of those instruments in your, school 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 cases and stuff like that 30 degree angle so the house was like a 30 degree angle the entrance to the house is here the bed is here so it's not straight even the bed is not even straight and the uh, the bed goes stretches all the way towards the end of that thing so very weird furniture inside here uh, the bed looked straight in this skewed room you know that's another thing. I couldn't figure out how the, the furniture was, but that was not the focus 
only when I'm thinking about it, it didn't make sense how the bed was straight. Like how I was looking at the bed and the bed looked straight, but the room is skewed, but the bed is flushed straight to the bed, to, to thing. Like in the, the thing is that you understand what I mean. It wouldn't be straight. So uh, on this bed, there's TV Joshua, and uh, there's a bunch of people next to him. And the moment we got in, somebody stood up, right? And I couldn't say if it was the person who was currently leading, leading his church or what, but there was someone that stood up when we got inside the room. And when we are in the room, the uh, T. Joshua is next to the bed. He isn't sitting on the bed. He is kneeling. Like, you know, when you were kids and you have a lot of friends and you're trying to, sh to, to have a better place for you to draw out what you're drawing out, you use the bed as a writing space. And so there's these people that are sitting next to him and they are all looking at what he is in explaining and interpreting. And he's interpreting the Bible, right? So turns out he's, he's interpreting the Bible. Oh, okay, we Gucci there. But his interpretation had nothing to do with what they were reading, you know? And his Bible read differently. And the more they read, the more agitated I became. The more I was like, hey, that's not what it's saying. Like, wait, can you guys hear? That? No, wait, that's not what it's saying. And these people were in La La Land. They couldn't hear me. Like, completely they could not hear me for anything and i kept talking you know for the longest time i thought you know i just leave this dream be but uh, recently there was a story of a young guy i'll talk about it maybe tomorrow like so that you can get the details of the story young guy recently been arrested claimed he was the the new version of tb joshua or something like that i'll tell you about that story by tomorrow so now so this story has brought this thing this dream back to mind like the, the 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 unforeseen dangers of these doctrines that these people are learned or they learned from this man or it might be anybody that teaches things that this man taught and so i kept getting agitated that this man was teaching this bible wrong so he would say this verse and i'm like no that's not what it's saying you'd say this one and i'm like how how is you how are you coming to that conclusion when you read this and so this continued and i try to get his attention i try to get the people's attention next to him i didn't at once try to talk to the person who stood up i was talking to the people that were listening to him like you know it's not saying that why are you teaching it like that and continued continued and when we now when this happened until it got late. And this is where the scary part of the dream, right? So I said, there's the opening aspect where it's kind of like clear. There's no fencing here. We just got in and then there's this house. There's, there's just, they're chilling down there. The, imp the other rooms are not important. It's only this house that's, that's only this room in this house that's important. And so it gets dark. And after it gets dark, so it's night now. And uh, now it's night, not, it's not like when they were talking, then it became night, no. It's like it's, when we got in, I could see the house with clarity and I could see the area. But then it became late and these people, um, they, they, they stood up, they, 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 but the others didn't, they kept looking at the book, kind of like they were kind of looking at the book. And him, he stood up very happy. He was smiling all the way you know he was smiling all the way now the smile was not because he just saw something good i don't know he believed whatever he was teaching them now remember in the dream i kept saying no you can't interpret what you're saying you can't get that from this verse they interpret this verse i'm like no it's not saying that and then they create uh, no that's not what it means you know so that's me responding to them and i was just shouting into thin air they were not hearing nothing he stood up and he was smiling from chin, from green to green. I think that's what they say. And um, stood up and he stood there 
not once did anybody acknowledge me. So it felt like I was almost a ghost or something. And uh, he stood up. And when he stood up, he then got out of the room. When he got out of the room, I saw him only walk out. So the others, they were glued on the book. So this is the part where it got a bit foggy. Like, how did we get out of the house? Uh, this, it became foggy. But he, it was only him that walked into the dark out of this room. And then I, I kind of followed him like, hey, you know, hey, these folks, these folks have the wrong teaching. These people are... So I followed. But then, I don't know, it felt like I came back, but there was no one. So they followed him as well. But I didn't see them leave. It was just like, uh, while I'm trying to speak to him, I come back, instantly, they are not there. Everybody has followed him. And so I run after him. And when I run after him, there's this huge tree, right? They just kind of like distracted, that kind of distracted me. They were just huge. And so I felt like I have to go round out to get out of, to get out of, the, of the house. Because I, I could see where they went. And this is another thing. Where they were going, there wasn't a way. Like there wasn't like a way. So they went out the wrong way. You get me? They went out the wrong way. And so I was like, you know, and right before this tree. And so I'm like, no, I got to go around to the other side where the gate is. So I went out through the gate. And when I got to the gate, it became day. You know, I could see. But it was the, the light was only where I was standing. Where they, were, where they were standing, there was no light. Ne? There was no light. And they are all the way. And they, are, they keep moving towards this direction where there is no light. And they keep walking, walking, walking. And while they are walking towards that side, something tragic happens when they are that side in the dark. And while they are right all the way in the dark, something tragic it was like an accident or something but i remember police uh, ambulances and whatnot just uh, filled the street instantly filled the street and i could barely see how many people survived whatever happened there but there was very few people very few maybe one two three but because it, it was far off in the distance but then when i'm coming out uh, when I'm coming out, there were people outside, and I'm talking to them, and I'm, I start, I'm talking to them. And the people that I'm talking with were the people that I was with in the, in the thing. I'm like, this, 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 uh, there, was an, there was also an animal that was thingy. Very weird. It was dead, right thingy, right before. And so it kind of spelled what was happening over there with this animal, and I'm like telling them... Uh, this animal is dead. And uh, the person kind of like pointed and hinted at that story. So what I was seeing here was what was implied over there. But only in the light, remember we were in the light, we could see what was happening there. Uh, they couldn't, maybe, I don't know, maybe you guys might have different interpretations of these parts of these dreams, but a lot of it, it for me, it was very clear for me. The people that heard this doctrine, and I've said constantly, look back into the Bible. Question the things that you see these people practicing their churches using the Bible. Because a lot 